a wet start to the weekend. So when will we dry out? Meteorologist Tim McGill is back with the full real time forecast. Tim? Well, Jim, the short answer to that is we're going to dry out beginning tomorrow afternoon, but it's been kind of a soggy start to September. Nine of the first 12 days have seen some rain. It's been kind of a cool start, too. We've had, I think, five days in a row temperatures below average. That's about to change, both on the rain front and that cool front. We're going to start to warm things up next week, and we're going to dry things out as well. But tonight, still a few spotty showers on and off. Looks like overnight tonight, not an all-out rain out by any means. Most of the night will actually end up being dry. Clouds and clearing Sunday afternoon. We'll see a lot of sunshine by later in the day and once that sunshine hits it's going to stick around just about all week next week more sun and milder next week we can say so long to those 60s for highs for the next several days and there's still a few 60s out there right now 69 degrees at McHenry 66 in DeKalb 72 at O'Hare 72 degrees right now at midway and the reason why we warmed up a little bit today after four days in a row with highs in the 60s we had a return of a south wind south southwest now around 5 to 15 miles per hour the more steady rain has now moved out across north central Indiana in the wake of that just a couple of spotty showers I mean really spotty and a few sprinkles out there. I think we'll get a little bit of a lull after about an hour or two. Then there's an upper level low pushing out of Minnesota and Iowa to be sliding over us later on tonight. So late tonight towards tomorrow morning, another round of scattered showers. Can't believe we're up to the letter S already in the hurricane season. This is Tropical Storm Sally just coming off the coast of South Florida. Maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour. Could make landfall sometime, it looks like, maybe Tuesday near New Orleans, and it could be at least a Category 1 storm. So they're keeping a close eye on that in the Gulf. Closer to home, high pressure getting ready to build in here, it looks like, during the day tomorrow. But again, a couple spotty showers for the next hour or two, then a bit of a break. And then after around midnight, it looks like, and early tomorrow morning, this is 3 o'clock through around 6, 7 o'clock. Could see a couple more scattered showers. And then the clearing begins tomorrow morning, late in the day, late in the morning. And then during the afternoon, we should see partly to mostly sunny skies emerge. Looks like a beautiful Sunday overall after a little bit of a cloudy start. Temperatures tonight will get down to the low 60s in the city, mid to upper 50s in the outlying areas. A little bit cooler there. Tomorrow's high temperatures a little bit warmer. We're going to make it into the mid 70s, it looks like, tomorrow. We've got at least 70 for highs just about all week next week. So for tonight, a couple spotty showers for the next hour or two, a little bit of a break and some more showers after midnight. But most of the night again should be dry. 62 downtown, mid to upper 50s in the outlying areas. For your Sunday, some clouds and clearing, partly to mostly sunny though during the afternoon. A high of 76 degrees, really close to average. And then we're at average or above much of next week. 76 tomorrow, 74 on Monday. Look at all that sun symbol activity showing up. 74 for us on Monday, 76 degrees on Tuesday. 80 on Wednesday, the warmest day of the week. We cool down a little bit Thursday and Friday behind a cold front that could squeeze out a shower Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. But I really think most of the week is going to be dry. As a matter of fact, if we look at all the rainfall expected between Sunday and Friday next week, it's just a hundredth or two hundredth of an inch of rain. So a much drier pattern shaping up for next week, Jim. Tim, thank you.